Okay, so today's a little bit different. I have this old window that I want to reframe. And of course, the pictures in here are adorable of my girls from a long time ago. Um, but my daughter got married in January and I have all these beautiful photos from the wedding and I want to look at those. So uh, I have limited wall space, so I'm gonna take this window and I'm gonna reframe it. Um, when I framed this initially, I had to do a lot of work to this window. Um, I can't remember where I got this one in particular, but I had to break out all the glass, scrape all of that glue that they put in there to keep the glass in, and then um, basically sandblast it with water to get all of the peeling paint off and then refinish it. So I already did that work, so now I just get the ease of refilling it with pictures. So my first thing to start is I'm going to have to remove all of these little points in here. And I'm going to just use my pliers. Normally I have needle nose pliers and they really work a lot better than this, but this is what I have at the moment. So I'm going to use that. So I will come back when I get all of these out of all of six paints. Lovely little points out of the out of the frame. So now what I can do is just push out the glass and I don't want to touch the inside of the glass because it's probably still pretty clean. I only want to have to clean the outside. I've already done all the work so I'm going to take that out and luckily I have myself a backing already to go on it. So um, I started framing in old windows a long time ago. Uh, for my business, I live here by the beach and I used to frame a lot of my clients' work uh, in old windows because we live by the beach and it just decoratively is really beautiful. And But I started antique uh, window framing and antique framing uh, over 20 years ago. Um, I just love the distressed and weathered look of old windows and antique frames. I love antique frames that are really beat up. Um, we can go into another story about that. But for right now, I'm going to go and I'm going to get all the pictures out and then we're going to put the new ones in. Okay, I'm back. So I have taken all the photos out of the glass and I've cleaned the glass and then I, I actually had to reprint all my pictures because they were slightly too small for the opening. So I've reprinted everything and uh, oh I'll share with you my favorite paper. This is my favorite paper, Epson Hot Press Bright. So now I'm ready to put them in the frame. Hopefully they're going to fit. <laughs> so I have laid out sort of the order that I think I want them to go and they're going to be flipped because I'm on the back side. But so I'm just going to start putting them in and my way I just I just blow on the glass to be sure that I get all the all the dust. Well, that fit in there pretty good. And that one, that went in pretty well, yep, and then this one, good. I can't wait to look at my daughter's wedding. She got married a year ago and I still don't have anything on the wall. So I just finished her album for their anniversary, which <laughs> that was good. It only took me a year to do that for for them. Okay. The thing with these windows, I mean, I think I have probably uh, framed maybe a hundred of these a lot, <laughs> and they're a pain. the The wood tends to want to disintegrate and get onto the glass. Um, 
And when I was doing it for clients, it was like, well, you can't have even one little speck on there. So for me, if it's really bad, I'll redo it. If it's just a little here and there, I don't really mind. So now what I'm gonna do, this is a points driver, and I'm just going to secure them in maybe two places so that I can flip it over and look at it. This makes it easy if I have to take it out and clean off the glass. Okay, so now I'm going to take a peek at the window. Well, it looks pretty good. That's just like a little scratch or something from being moved multiple times in my house. But that looks beautiful. I'm very excited about that. So I'm just going to finish um, putting all the points in and then uh, the only thing I'll have left to do is to switch the hardware from uh, vertical to horizontal. Just have to move these right here and I will be all done. So I'll do this and I will super speed it for you. And that's it. All done. Glad I could share that with you.